Metro. Go. Rhino. Go. Guidance. Go. Control. Go. Telcom. Go. GNC. Go. He's Bork. I'm Rick. This is the Fly No Show. Welcome. Hi, guys. Uh, we got a lot to talk about this week, and the first, I want to get straight into it. What is this beautiful piece of just deliciousness I'm holding right here? Well, there's a couple things that are really exciting. One is we, we, we're, we're, we got our laser cutter up and running, so we can start doing some prototyping yes. and, and plastics. So we don't have to waste so much carbon. It's dangerous down here at the Fly No Shop. We got lasers now. <laughs> lasers. Funny story. Uh huh. The first time I ran it, my ventilation wasn't set up properly, and it filled my entire shop full of acrylic fumes. Did it taste good? Actually, it hurt. It tasted so bad. That's all you know it's working. But the weather was so nice, I was able to open up all the doors and windows, and we aired this place out for a good day. And it was just, you could hear the birds chirping and the bees tweeting. They have Twitter accounts. Okay. And long okay. story short, so it worked out well. We got some laser stuff cut. <laughs> we got the shop aired out, and we got this cool new frame. So I don't know. I guess we can tell them what it is. Yeah, we'll pop something up on the screen here. So it's uh, it's buttery. Working with uh, talking to those butterfly guys and mm -hmm. working on something super slammed. Look at look, look, <laughs> look at that slammage. Yeah. That, that is just, uh, that's a slam as she gets right there. What uh, what size of slamage is that? So there's 10 millimeters of work area for your stack. Wow. And we've got 5 millimeter arms and um, top mount idea, GoPro. Uh, you have, there's a lot of little features in it. So here's some of the simple features. One, it's pretty freaking light. Uh, it's under 100 grams. You got 5 inch Five millimeter arms, five in, five point five millimeter props. You know, five point five with the with this set of arms, so that'll be standard option. Nice. Um, GoPro mount comes with multiple angles, uh, micro cam. Um, the one of the things that the butterfly guy, the the they put out a survey for different things they wanted. They wanted they didn't want four in one ESCs. They wanted to look at uh, arm mounted ESCs. That's why the arms are a little wider. Super slam, that was the big thing. We want super slam, so I'm well, let's show them what slam really is. Well, you know what they really wanted something innovative. Oh, yeah, all caps, 40 exclamation points, something actually innovative. Innovative, it has a T in it. I think this uh qualifies for uh, yeah, the definition of a new word. <laughs> so, uh, what I like about it mm -hmm. is. Blindo hasn't really done a standard top bottom mount idea, so this is kind of pushing the boundaries. Everything just mm -hmm. like with the Serb V3 coming out, everything's flush mount. We're gonna do high end titanium hardware for everything. Um, it's just gonna the idea is super clean, super clean. I, mean, I really like it. One thing I really like about acrylic as a prototype is you can see through it and see what's happening between the layers. So. Uh, it would be hard to see otherwise, but we'll probably have some pop-up happen. But yeah, yeah. the uh, the screws, so they're quick swap arms, so you only have to take a couple of screws out. And then there's a, a captured nut in there. Yeah. So yeah. It, and you wouldn't awesome. be able to tell this if we didn't do it in acrylic. You wouldn't. If you did it in carbon, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to look in there and see if it's working the way you expected it to. Also, this is a little thing we kind of just... To, I realized is uh, because acrylic is more brittle than carbon, it kind of ex highlights, highlights the the poise, points that are prone to break. So uh, <laughs> we're holding this very carefully for a reason. <laughs> the, uh, so you can see there was a little a weak point there that broke, and uh, looking back at the design before it's released, it'll be beefed up a little bit because that's a lot of weight hanging on on the nose there, yeah. and uh, that's the last thing that you want to happen. So we'll beef that up. We'll, we'll we take that into consideration with the designs. Mm -hmm. We're getting some. I mean, this is going to be really cool. So now, you were able to slam this so far down because the FPV camera drops mm -hmm. below the bottom base plate, right? Yeah. Yeah. So one person asked, "Well, isn't the aren't the props going to hit the ground in the back because of this? Because when you sit on the ground, it's going to be tilted back." No, no, no. How big do the props have to be to hit the ground because of the tilt? Yeah, twelve inch props. So uh, yeah, as long as you're not running twelve inch props, you're good to go. Put twelve inch props on this, you, you might bump the ground, but you also might 
hit every other prop, the GoPro, the battery, pretty much everything. So I think you're going to be okay. Man, I wish I could fly this because it just, acrylic just looks just, so badass. It looks beautiful. One, one person said, uh, hey, well, you could probably get one flight out of it. I was thinking, I don't even think you could assemble it without a breaking it. That's but proven. Yeah. Oh. Well, right now, so that's the, uh, we don't know what to call it. So, I guess the last thing I think is a cool trivia bit about this. The design started around the ZMR 250. Yeah, so, that, 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 that comment, something actually innovative, that's something that, that, that kind of, I don't want to say rubbed me the wrong way, but it's like, how as a designer do you convince something, somebody that something is innovative when they have the viewpoint that nothing is innovative? Because I have to say, over the last couple of years, there's been some hardcore innovations in frame design. And maybe that progress is slow from the consumer perspective, so they don't see those leaks. But where we are with frame design is way beyond where we started. And everything is, the innovation is continuously coming out. So, long story short, when I, when I saw that comment, something actually innovative, my thought was, well, let's, let's reverse that. Instead of going for innovative, let's go for generic. And I was like, what's the most generic thing every FDD pilot knows? ZMR. ZMR 250. And so the ultimate goal was just to release basically a clone of the ZMR. I thought that'd be cool. Let's clone the clone. Um, if you don't know, the ZMR 250 is a clone. Um, a little trivia, or, 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 uh, or yeah, let's see if you can get, guess the right answer in the comments. What is the ZMR250 a clone of? Awesome. Can't wait to see the comments. Yeah, on that. I want to see you get them. Who, who knows? Who are the OGs out there? So we uh, we had a little chat with Miss Creature today. Ha ha! Yeah. yeah. So That's we've been fun. we've been hyping this for a while. Um, the Miss Creature Skull V2 skins. We've been hyping this pretty hardcore for the last few weeks. I know a few of you people out there are saying, yeah, right, we don't believe you. Well, it's happening. Welcome to the Finest Show. Yay! Yeah, happy to have you on. Yeah. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. So, uh, here you just came back from a trip from the desert. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we did. My boyfriend took me out to a 700-mile trip, uh, east, southeastern Oregon. I don't even know where I was, but I was somewhere where there was no trees and no rain. <laughs> um, but it was beautiful. We went and found two hot springs, uh, really, really nice in the desert. <laughs> um, and uh, we did a whole lot of nothing. Uh, we were supposed to go flying a bunch, but we just were kind of in awe over everything. Um, but uh, it was beautiful, very beautiful trip. And I also got very burnt because I'm very Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> so you found a desert in Oregon. I don't, I don't think a lot of people know there's deserts there. <laughs> Yeah, right? I, I I guess I call it a desert because I've never seen one before. Um, high desert. It's old high desert? No, full on high desert. Oh, it's a full on high desert, whatever that means. No, <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's uh, the Canadian landscape. Right? <laughs> we, so, like, we don't even know what a desert is. <laughs> so is it like when snow covers everything, is that kind of like a similar to a desert where it's just like same. Yeah, totally. Like, there's just nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you, you probably had some fun out there, and I know you guys are also working on a wing design, which uh, we got a glimpse at a second ago. So, did you get that out there? It's still in the works. Oh, I see it in the background. We have frozen video. It's absolutely sick because he, he's like made it completely from scratch. He's got all these foam pieces donated to him from random people in the area <laughs> and he's just made his own uh what do you call it what's the cutter called with the wire just hot, a foam hot wire foam cutter i guess hot wire cutter. Mm -hmm. but um it looks like it's going to be really really tight i'm excited for him <laughs> well it looks so, which, what? yeah that's awesome work tyler I've seen uh, yeah. some of your social media posts following the hot wire, and I can't wait to see that thing fly, dude. I can't wait to see the uh, the video of the maiden right? flight. Please share that. <laughs> We're going to have to find a good name for it. <laughs> the pink awesome. machine. Right on. Well, uh, you've yeah. been, you're an artist. You've been working on some art. What, uh, what have you been doing recently? Oh, my gosh. So much stuff. It's ridiculous. I've still not finished a lot of it, but uh, I'm grateful for it. I'll say that. Um, one cool thing that I did recently was this really sick skin 
for the skull too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> um, so it's my own little design of my own random things that I do. Um, you'll see things like motors and wires and all sorts of electronics on it. But also with this, it's going to be a giveaway. So I'm not too sure if anyone's interested or not, but <laughs> I hope they are. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to be giving this away. Well, I was really excited when we kind of worked together and started working together. Um, you did, I'm, I've got your skull shirt on and from V1, which was really awesome. So it just made sense that we get a little something out for V2. I, totally. you know, I really like this shirt. And even though we're, we've continued to V1, I want to keep selling this shirt in the store because it's kind of like a cool throwback to the original. I totally agree. But I'm super stoked about the skin too. And like you said, like we're going to do a giveaway. We sent you some, we sent you a frame. We got the skin made with your design on it, and yeah. to give the full package away to somebody, right? So exciting, yeah, because I'm, like, head over heels about these frames, because I'm very new with the whole... Uh, this thing's industry awesome, so anybody who likes to thrive, <laughs> this is the one to have. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to do the giveaway, and uh, I got some rules and regulations if uh, I can spit those off right now. <laughs> yeah, totally. so, so it's going to be on the 12th that I'll pick a winner. And it's going to be YouTube that you have to subscribe to my channel and Flynosaurus channel as well, the Fly No Show, which is sick. Check it out once a week, right, guys? Yeah, once a week. <laughs> as long as we can you keep gonna, it up. <laughs> you're also going to give away that awesome okay. stuffy over there too at some time? Yeah, we are. Uh, so, just so you know, I don't know if we told you this, uh, everybody who buys a Flyno frame right now, they get a little ticket in their in their uh, package, and that ticket has a number on it, and that's going to be how we give away the Flyno Rhino. So, so you're going to do this giveaway on Instagram, is that right? Yeah. And we're going to, you're going to do that today? We're gonna... Um. Yeah, I'm going to post today, yeah, and I just need everyone to... Let's say get them to comment something, tag a friend, and uh, should we say share it or subscribe? Uh, well, I think uh, we should probably they should probably be subscribed to you if you know yeah. they're seeing the post. They're probably subscribed to you already. If they throw a comment um, on there, that's probably good. What do you think, Ricky? Give us a shout. A out. little Absolutely. bonus. Tell, tell us what you think about this shiny new skull two skin. <laughs> My internet cutting. Yeah, we're getting a little drop in audio, too, but so far it's been really good. Yeah, I'm so excited. You won't lose it. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. I think that's good. I know we're losing the Internet a little bit, Kirsty. I really appreciate you coming on the show. I'm really excited to see some of the stuff you're working on, and the, 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 the skin looks awesome. After the giveaway is over, we're going to sell it in the store so everybody will have an opportunity to get it. Um, it was really great talking with you. And hey. I was I'm I'm stoked to be able to do this with you. Me too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being on the Flyno show. Thanks for having me guys. Next time I'm gonna get some better internet. <laughs> so yeah, hope you had fun with the uh, Miss Creature interview that we just did. And she'll be giving away some things and we are too. So this week we found out who the winners were for Yeah. It's I can't believe we tried to give away a hat. It's taken so long. We finally um, did it, though. Mission accomplished. <laughs> so uh, we, we, we doubled it to two videos, uh, uh, Flying a Show 3 and Flying a Show 4. If you commented on either of those videos, then you uh, your comment entered you to win um, um, either the hat or, or, the, or the bean. They're over there. Um, so I think because we did two shows and got two things to give away... We're going to give them both away. The hat. Ryan Terry wins again. The bean. Yeah. So who we, uh, we picked two winners. We used an online YouTube comment picker to do the work for us. And you can see it rolling in the background for vid three and vid four. So our winners are Airbath, Airbath. and 
Ryan Terry. Ryan Terry. Yeah. All so right. you guys won and uh, reach out to us or we'll reach out to you. Have your people contact our people. And uh, who, who, who gets what? Who gets what? Who gets what? So I think we should flip, flip a coin. Flip a coin. All right. Let's find a coin. Um, does anybody have a coin? Oh, how about a prop? If it, if it lands uh, up. Who gets what? We got a beanie, we got a hat, and we're about to figure that out. So whoever wins this prop toss gets to pick first, and then the other person can have the remaining uh, hat or beanie. Okay, so how, the, the tech side... Is the winner? Okay. Can we see that. There you go. We're just gonna throw it up. Um, you've got glasses on. Mm, do I need any eye protection? I think you're good, Mort. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Wait, but who's who's top? Who's? Oh yeah. <sighs> That's a hard one. So I said the top is winner. That's not how we do it. That's not how we do it at all. Yeah. All right. One person is one side. The other person is the other. Okay. Side. So uh, we're gonna put Ryan Terry on the on the letter side and Airbath on the non-letter side, or the uh, uh, adapter black uh, motor adapter ring. And are you ready? And we're ready. Go. Uh, uh. Oh, I think that's a. Uh, oh, I think that's Airbath is the winner. We did it. So, air bath. Okay, so air bath. We're gonna reach out to you. You can pick hat or beanie, and then Ryan Terry, you get the what's left. Exactly. I'm sure it's gonna be cool. So this is. Uh, so what? Why does the prop transition into the next thing? I don't get it. Well, so this is a what is this guy? It's a eight inch tri blade. Uh, this wasn't on the docket, but. We sent one of these over to Stu at UAV Futures, and we heard back from him. He got an 11-minute flight time. Yeah. Woo! So uh, we didn't just send him a prop. We sent him an 8-inch skull, and you should be seeing that over on UAV Futures real soon, so look out for that. Um, I guess... Stu! <laughs> hey, something else I want to talk about real okay, quick. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. On there is uh, everybody's been getting their Serv V3s in the mail and getting some comments. Obviously, prototype, we, this, I screwed up a bunch of things. Uh, I, I left out some lock nuts and some mortars. I'm mortified. Uh, yeah. Uh, I left out some lock nuts. I, we had some, some miscalcs on the screw links, some things like that. But I think overall, everybody's pretty happy. We've had a really good reception. But... Um, I think one thing that we also played with that a lot of people don't know about is, uh, I hate when I say a lot of people don't know about. I'll so, let that out. <clears throat> so one thing that I really like that we've been playing with is we got these uh, uh, LiPo fat straps. Fat strap. And I got a lot of good reception on our posts on Instagram, so I'm curious if you guys like the fat straps or if you just like the frame they were sitting on. So... <laughs> They kind of make the frame look small. They're extremely fat, but I have this idea that maybe they'll hold batteries in even better than those little rinky dink straps that everybody's using. So, hey Josh, should I give away a fat strap? Yeah, I'll, I'll give one away. Leave a comment in today's video and uh, you can win a fat strap. We'll make it simple. Leave a comment, we won't even make a big deal out of it. We'll pick one and send it to you. There you go. Yeah. Next week. So speaking of clownfish, um, you know one reason why I like clownfish? What? Clownfish never advertised here. What's the greatest jet prop airliner ever designed? Remco's Flying Fox. With real motor-driven jet prop engines, the giant cockpit with dual controls has room in it for two kids to control every action of the plane. In the air above the cockpit roars the mighty Flying Fox airliner. The engines are revved up separately from low to high speed. Hear that powerful jet sound get louder and louder as you rev her up. While flying, you retract the landing gear. You yourself make the plane climb, bank, dive, and turn in flight. While cockpit instruments keep you on course. 
For night flying, switch on the red and green wing lights and blink them. Kids, fly Redco's Flying Fox Jet Prop Airliner for the greatest thrill of your lifetime. Only $14.98. Remember, every boy wants a Remco toy, and so do girls. We're getting somewhere, hold on. Okay, if you were taking a vacation and your choice was either a submarine and a travel to the depths of the ocean and you got to see all that crazy shit down there, or a blimp, you got to see all the crazy pterodactyls and shit, what would you choose? Ooh, that's interesting. Pterodactyls? <laughs> Well, is there pterodactyls or I don't know what's up there. I've never seen a blimp. <laughs> or a zeppelin. You can choose between a blimp or a zeppelin. Did you know? Um, I just listened to an interesting story about the history of blimps. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I would pick the submarine, honestly. And I'll, I maybe do you want me to explain why? No, it's good. Giant squid. Good answer. Sperm whale. You just wanted to say sperm. Actually, sperm whale eat squids, which I saw when I was in Austin a while back, and I was in a hotel room waiting for South by Southwest with nothing better to do but watch our blue planet or whatever the hell it's called. Yeah. And it was sperm whale eating giant squids. It's pretty weird, right? Weird. Confirmed. Um, and also Little Nemo fish, which are called clownfish, have a special uh, coating on them so that the sea anemone don't hurt them. Best friends. Yeah. They're like peas in a pod. Or maybe the clownfish is like a pea in a pod of the anemone. 